Howdy. So I'm uh, I'm really excited today to um, I'm gonna review the newest addition to the 3D gaming world uh, by Sony, available on the PlayStation Network uh, for $19.99, and it is called Wipeout HD. This is a 3D game, uh, and as most of you know, Alex, my fiance, bought a 3D TV, 46-inch 3D LED TV, which is uh, a brilliant TV, uh, shows dynamic colors, it's just incredible. So I'm going to show you guys the game. You won't be able to see it in eye-popping 3D, but I will. Uh, I will say that uh, Wipeout has been around for a long time. It was at the forefront of gaming many, many years ago and is now again at the forefront of gaming with the addition to the 3D uh, game. Um, so let's first talk about the style of it. It's very Japan, Japanime, anime. It's very, um, I would say the handling is... Um, old school throwback to um, Need for Speed. Uh, it's very old school like that. Um, however, visually stunning. Um, let's get into the not so stunning and not so attractive 3D glasses that you have to wear. Uh, can you see them through the reflection there? Um, they look like really, really high tech uh, Terminator glasses, but uh, they are in a sense. Uh, the thing about them is that the, the screen right here is an LED screen, so it actually picks up the 3D from there. This isn't like watching with the old 3D where you're just viewing it. This is actually, the image is actually transported into these glasses and then turned into a 3D image between the two. Um, at least that's how I understand it to be. I could be totally wrong, and if you think that I'm wrong and you know the right way, then you're welcome to post uh, a comment or a video comment or something like that, and it'll be really cool. Um, the glasses cost $250. Um, you can, I don't know if they're, I know that uh, Sears at the moment is selling the set, which is a 46 inch LED TV Samsung for $25.99, which comes with the uh, Blu ray player and two pairs of glasses, which is almost, actually, I think it's exactly the same thing as we paid for at Future Shop. We got the glasses. For free if we bought the Blu-ray with the um, gaming console, which actually came to $25.99, uh, with the TV, I mean, which actually came to $25.99. So I'm going to get into um, the game because that's what we're here to do. We're here to watch the game. So what happens is, um, you know what, I'm going to exit out of the game that's on the screen and show you how the setup is, which is really, really cool. So I'm going to switch the camera around, and you're going to get to watch it from over here, but you'll get, I'll keep my commentary going as long as I can, okay? Now I have a, a, a little contraption there set up so that... Uh, set up so that we can sort of see what's going on there on the screen. Now, like I said, you won't be able to see it in 3D, but I will. Sucka. Okay, so what happens is you are going to click OK on the game to enter the game. It's going to stay on the screen because I don't know if you can read it. It's going to say that it detects a 3D TV and it's going to ask if you want to switch to 3D mode. Do you see how it says that? It says 3D display detected, switch to 3D mode. I'm clicking yes because, well, we have a 3D display. So the next screen is going to say, coming up, right down there in the bottom it says, wearing 3D glasses, press the power button. And so what happens is um, the screen goes, uh, the screen on the glasses goes dark to tell you that it's, it's reading the game. Uh, it's got an amazing soundtrack. So uh, here we go. 
I hope you enjoy seeing it because I'm going to enjoy playing it. Like I said, it's got the very Japanime sort of uh, thing going on for it. The only thing I say, I, I, I'm going to tell you is this. The, um, the LED glasses uh, are sensitive to the point that um, they will turn off if you're not looking at the camera, at the TV. They will actually shut themselves off. I don't know how to do that yet. It's a barrel raw. Eh, whatever. I can't know everything, you know, guys. Come on now. Here we go. Can you see how visually beautiful that is? Now, you're going to see it in the sense of a couple of different dimensions, whereas I'm going to see it in 3D. See, the handling isn't all that great, um, but the 3D in it is really, really cool. They do recommend, though, that you take several breaks. For every one hour that you, sh uh, that you play in 3D, you should, um, you should take a 15-minute break. And the really cool thing I'll tell you is that, first of all, all that stuff flying is like flying at me, which is really cool. And uh, the this, this score timer thing that's up there is actually floating in front of me. Um, but like I said, the handling isn't all that great. The concept behind the, the game is just incredible. Uh, to reach this next level of gaming in, in the sense of, of a 3D experience is just out of this world. Uh, technology has come so, so far when it comes to this stuff. It's really hard to talk and play at the same time. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I wish I was uh, a little more able to... Uh... Ooh, a bronze medal. Woohoo! You can't see it, but all that stuff there is just like being at a 3D movie. It is actually floating out at me. Um, all right, so. There you have it. Let me turn the lights back on. There you have it. So that's the first game. Well, second, technically. But the other one is some Battlestar game, which I did, does, didn't look that entertaining to me. But I love race car games, so I thought I would give this one a shot. Uh, there you have it. If you have the opportunity and the finances, because it's not cheap to have a 3D TV and to, and, and to play the 3D gaming, it is just out of this world. Um, so much fun. I, I can't wait to play it with Alex. And I can't wait for you guys to play it and for you to review it and tell me what you thought. <laughs> Good night, guys.